here we have the brand new Audi e-tron FE04 with Lucas Degrassi behind the wheel. Wow, look at the new livery. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> Lucas, come and join us up on stage. Huge round of applause. Congratulations. Very nice car. New wheels. What do you think? Looks good. Well, looks amazing. I saw it the other day and uh, I just fell in love. It's a, it's a beautiful machine. It's uh, the, the spirit of, uh, of the Audi e-tron inside. We made a big step from, um, from, from last year. So I'm very happy that uh, Audi now joined Schaffler and Abt uh, on this uh, with the full power now, and we are very happy that we can um, uh, make this beautiful uh, machine run as fast as it can go. So it looks good. What about the inside? I know you're not going to share that much information, but can you give us a few, you know, little tidbits about the technical development of this car? Uh, did they say it has one gear? Oh, can I say that? Oh. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we've, made a, we've made a big step. Um, we optimized all the drivetrain. From, uh, from every, last year the car was already very competitive, so it's very difficult to improve from something which is already extremely good. Uh, but of course with the, with the Audi know-how from the, from the hybrid part, from the, 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 the car that I drove, the R18 for so many years, combined with the Schaffler expertise, we managed to optimize every single part. We managed to improve a lot the software, the MGU, the electric motor, uh, the components of the gearbox, the differential, um, pretty much every part of the car that you're allowed to develop, we looked at every fine detail and we made sure that we could uh, go the next step so we could fight for more wins and more victories. I think we should probably start off with the big question, really, that everyone wants to know why. You know, why have Audi decided to now officially have a team in Formula E? Well, I think it's very clear. It's a very, very interesting series. And it's obviously a different series than all the series existing. And it's uh, important for us to be part of this electrification effort, not only on, in our engineering and on, on the road, really on the tracks. It's going to be the future and we're going to learn a lot. So, and it is very exciting racing. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a big commitment for us, uh, that's for sure. Uh, we're now taking over the whole operation. That means uh, development of the, of the three elements of the car, the drivetrain, goes over to, to Audi and Treffler with our technology partner. And uh, we will uh, take over the responsibility on the racetrack together with the team that has done the operation so far with Abt. I think Mr. Martin said it earlier on, it's very new and it's embryonic, so it's developing all the time, but because it doesn't necessarily have the historical nature about it, then it can define its own path, and that's quite interesting for me, is the way that it's defining its own path. And I would like to welcome Daniel Abt as our new factory driver. And now you're an Audi factory driver. I mean, this has been such an incredible journey for you. How does it feel? Um, good evening, first of all. Um, it feels incredible. It's, it's like a little dream come true for myself. Um, because obviously I was born and raised in a family which was always connected with Audi and so I was always connected with Audi and never cheering for another brand than Audi but of course it's, it, it felt like a relationship that was always there and now we're kind of married and uh, I'm, just, I'm just really proud to be, to be part and a huge thanks to, to everyone involved in this project for having the belief in me uh, and giving me the chance to, to be an Audi factory driver. 